so hello guys so today I'm gonna show you how to build a simple circuit using uh, Proteus and also um, program the microcontroller using uh, MP Lab IDE so you can see here here so I was given a task so this is the circuit we're gonna build is uh, using uh, PIC 18F uh, series so the question say that based on the circuit diagram below write a program to turn on the LED if the push button is pressed and turn off the LED if the push button is not pressed so so first of all we're gonna use uh, Proteus so this is a uh, Proteus uh, software so you're gonna select your PIC so PIC which is uh, a microprocessor so here you can select your PIC 18 family so you will filter out uh, one particular of PIC 18F only so here you can select your PIC which is in this case I'm using a uh, PIC458 so PIC458 series so yeah there you go it's a uh, PIC458 series so I choose LED so auto so in this case I'm gonna use a uh, green one so green LED ok so the system the system around 470 ohm should be fine so, and a uh, button switch so switch is switching switches and read it so in this case I'm going to choose uh, SPST which means it's single pull single throw push button so ok so from here so you have selected all your components so yeah, I see circuit so ok so the button should be here so I need to place it so you can rotate this one this can seven and can rotate this one can rotate so you can place it here So here I'm gonna connect the circuit I'm connect the circuit so here I'm gonna ground so first of all I'm gonna place the resistor so resistor here so this resistor, this configuration of the circuit is uh, active low circuit which is uh, when we give logic uh, logic 0 the LED will on and when we give logic 1 means the button is uh, not pressed if the LED will off so zero logic 0 is on which is push the button means the logic 0 is to the input and the LED will on logic 1 is release the button the LED will off so that's it so we're gonna ground the circuit we're gonna put power we're gonna supply power first so terminal power so 
power and then we're going to grab the set key place this at ground ground here so so we're going to put the ground here okay. and also Label it. So, uh, sorry, double press, double click. I'm gonna label this one as BDD. Okay, and this one has uh, VCC, which is the supply. So VCC. So our circuit is done. So our another half of this. Uh, project is uh, to write a program uh, to, to embed this inside the microcontroller so for this we're going to use uh, MPLAB IDE uh, we're going to write the assembly language so first of all open the software so file create so we're going to create a file so we're going to create a file means so yes so here I'm going to name the file as LBD Green dot ASM. So save. After that we're going to create project. So this is a project wizard. Next, so my device 458. Okay, so we're gonna close the project. So I'm gonna just overwrite my existing project, which is assign LED. Okay, so next, yeah, alright. So here we're gonna add the file that we created early, which is LED Queen. So LED Queen dot ESM is here. So next finish so we have created a folder so you can double click the led.asm so now we can develop uh, the we can write the program here so first of all so, so there's the first uh, program so I'm gonna just copy means you're gonna set your what PIC you're gonna use this is the template ORG008 which is your high priority interrupt this is your low priority interrupt so start clear F means you are initializing it uh, as a output so sorry this one you're gonna in a set f is you're gonna initialize it as a input input port sorry so clear f is um, you clear F port D and port B is you clear any unwanted data uh, before any uh, program you know so check bit test file skip if set means that um, you're gonna skip a line just one line below and proceed to the next instructions uh, 
so before that support B 0 means you are going to select the particular very specified port which is the port B 0 which is the RD 0 so means that we are going to skip this line and clear means that um, you are going to make port D as off if there is logic 0 means that this instruction it won't skip the, this line it will branch on LED which means that it will go through the LED on LED branch which set means that the port D is on logic 1 means that it is on if is skip means that it will branch to here which is bit clear uh, bit clear file port D which means is uh, off so this uh, so when we press the button it will send logic 1 to um, it will send logic 1 to port D if we release it will send logic 0 to sorry uh, port B if we press yeah, so there's a program so now we're gonna view the program so, yeah. So B is succeeded means there is no error. So after this configure configure bit. So we're gonna configure a bit means that okay for the oscillator so, um, gonna select HS oscillators. So watchdog timer disable for now. ICSP enable bit uh, disable and oscillator system draw is disabled. Okay, so that's good. So after this, we're gonna export this file. So I'm gonna export this as done LED. So save. So open the Proteus window. So here, double click. So we're gonna import the file. So from here, done LED. Okay. So the clock frequency we're gonna change to 20 megahertz. From 4 megahertz to 20 megahertz. So it's okay. So now you can try run so hopefully everything goes well okay so things are pretty good here so as on the assembly so when you on the LED on when you release it will off on off on off so that's it for now so thank you very much